my small bugs. I am so hot and sweaty, I'm ready to jump in again. So I'm going to try something. A friend of mine sent me a shirt that he guaranteed would keep me cooler than any other shirt. If it could protect me from, God, these bugs, I'll be even happier. <sighs> it's a goofy looking camouflage shirt with a turtleneck on it. Anyway, I ran into this guy at the ICAST show and he had a, like a hot rod in his booth and these shirts. I'm not sure what is the front or the back. It's called the Snickwa. We'll see if it works. Hmm. Already feels cool. He may be right. It feels really light. It feels really good. If it works as good as he says it is, I'm going to get a whole bunch more of them. Well, we're on our last day, and we're headed back from the lower camp up to the upper camp. And as usual, we've got a new guide today, totally different guy. I have no idea how much his English is. It should prove challenging. Ooh, look at the two dolphins. That tells you there's peacocks in the area. Flipper and his buddy. Pretty decent. Flip around too much. Can I use your pliers? Pliers? Thank you. Oh, I feel bad for this guy. And this cut right here, that's not for me. That's from a bota. last night with major major leg cramps which I never have I haven't been eating enough jerky you drink water if you don't have salt in your body the water doesn't do you nearly as much good actually for every bag of jerky equals the right amount of salt I reckon for about three deals of water like that so if you're getting cramped up and stuff it could be one of two things they tell me lack of potassium in which case you eat bananas or you're just low on salt and electrolytes in which case you eat jerky and drink water or you try to find some Gatorade good luck in the jungle on the Gatorade like it fish with this reel until it blew up as a result of sand in the bearings but the sound to me is like ah man it's like fingernails on a blackboard actually I've been testing a whole bunch of different uh, low profile reels from expensive ones to inexpensive ones and it's been very interesting I was told that most of them are coming from the same or similar factories in the Orient and I have found that that is true because the handles and so on and many of them are interchangeable so far in my opinion 
the best value so far. Zebco has one called an iron, built like a brick outdoor toilet, but it doesn't have a clicker on it. But it's a great value. This is a uh, Okuma Komodo, very inexpensive, casts really well, has a uh, non-disengaging level wind, which some people really like, some people don't. But so far it gets my vote for the best value in a kind of a heavy duty, small reel. And the reason is it's tough and it's got a clicker. I was suspicious about the stainless steel gears in it. But so far, the only thing that's been bad is uh, stuck it in the sand and there's a bearing in here with the tools I have I can't get at. So I think, I, I just can't, I was gonna use it till it froze up, but I can't handle the noise. Can't be much fun to listen to over the television either. So I think we will just do a quick switcheroo here. The only fish that of any consequence that have been caught all week have been caught on this stupid thing in the entire camp, other than the ones on their live bait. It's kind of a liability only having one rod. I left the other stuff back at the main camp. We had to pack really light for the, the second camp. And I didn't bring any extra reels with me. One of the critical things, I'm working this bait called a wide glide. And a lot of people have trouble working it. I think that if they have trouble working it, it's because of one of two things. Either you've got a poor sense of timing, or you're jerking it too far, or your rod is just simply too soft. If you work this thing right at a long distance, you can get about an eight foot zigzag out of it. At closer distances it's gonna zigzag a little bit less. Got him! I was just about to feed him a live bait. This is a big one. Beauty. Really a big one. Nice. Nice big peacock. How's he hooked? He's got the front hook. Ooh. Back off a little on the drag. Oh, yes. <laughs> His buddy's out here chasing another one. He's all pooped here. Ooh. So. Ah, I got you. There we go. Okay, away you go. Get that little hump, medical little bump. Goodbye. Good old wide glide. Wide glide, boom. Yeah. What I find interesting is the first time there was no doubt they were not trying to eat it. They were swarming, they drove around it. I saw them swim in freaking circles around it. Both of them, like they were hurting it. They were just trying to get it out of here. A Couple more casts, then it was, all right, if you're not gonna leave the neighborhood, I'll eat you. Really interesting. 